tucked away in the northwest corner of Hong Kong, with the high-tech Chinese megacity of Shenzhen in sight, is a rich habitat that is home to mangroves, soft, muddy shores, and oyster reefs that date back centuries. For over 700 years, local farmers cultivated oysters here in the mudflats of Pak Nai. In recent decades, traditional oyster farming has declined, due in part to coastal reclamation and overharvesting. But conservationists like Maureen Thomas have discovered that reintroducing oysters to the abandoned reefs can boost biodiversity and strengthen these shores. Usually people will associate oysters with food, but less known is that oysters and other shellfish uh, create habitats. Um, they create reef habitats. In fact, just like coral reefs, they will bunch together and create these hard structures that you can actually walk on. In a survey of the city's coastlines, researchers from the Nature Conservancy and the University of Hong Kong discovered existing reefs like these old farms could potentially act as a source of oyster larvae. They also found that a single Hong Kong oyster can filter up to 30 liters or 8 gallons of water an hour, one of the highest filtration rates recorded for the species. Another finding, the reefs host six times more species than bare mudflats as the piles of shells provide shelter for worms and small crabs, attracting a variety of animals, including birds like this little egret. And yet another benefit, mitigating the effects of climate change. So how does the humble oyster do that? So the humble oyster will also help us fight climate change if it's in a reef structure. Um, so if it's in a hard reef structure that is creating a barrier, think of it as a natural uh, seawall, um, then it's going to be creating friction on the sea bottom that will attenuate wave action and therefore also flooding uh, at the back of it. Since 2020, Thomas and a team of volunteers have been at work restoring this abandoned oyster farm. They dry old shells in the sun before returning them to the water to form a base for oyster larvae to attach to. They hope to introduce millions of oysters to help revitalize the area over the next few years. One of the biggest things uh, that always amazes me and makes me happy is seeing all the number of crabs here, especially here. As you walk, the crab walk away. It's, it, if you fix on it, it's quite amazing to see this. It is really, really beautiful. As new oysters grow, they clean the water, provide shelter and food for wildlife, and join forces with the mangroves as a coastal buffer. A spectacular sunset descends on Pak Nai as these small, briny creatures work to build an ever more vibrant ecosystem.